I don't know why I just clapped. What are you doing? What are you doing? Jay Higgs. I love you. Lorenzo, you want to brush your teeth? Come on. Lorenzo, come on. Are you ready for this? Lead the way. Lead the way. There you go. Lorenzo. You're making this harder on yourself. About to come in there and get you. Hey. Open up. Open up. Hey. Good morning, guys. It's, um, uh, let me see. What is today? I'm losing track of days. That's right, Thursday. So if, if today's Thursday, which I think it is Thursday, I'm losing track of days over here, guys. This uh, staying at home stuff is, is pretty uh, interesting. There you go. That's right, that's right. Where's your toothbrush? All right, here we go. Are you ready? Uh-huh. There you go. We're not supposed to eat the toothbrush. <laughs> Boom. Boom. There you go, boy. Toothpaste, toothbrush, toothpaste on the toothbrush. <laughs> Rizzo, what are you doing? This is the only way Rizzo, I can- Rizzo, that doesn't go in there, Rizzo. I need to comb his hair, and this is the only way I can get him to sit and not move. We're listening to that Frank Ocean. Boom. Trying to get the vibes right. I don't know what you, what do you guys listen to right now at home? If I'm home, we gotta put some good music on. If it's not music, nine times out of 10, it's Word Party. And there's only one reason we play Word Party. Rezo, what the heck is that? Rezo, the soul glow? You just pulled the soul glow on me. Rezo! Rezo! Hey. Renzo, you gonna lock me out too? Okay, girl. Get it. I'm the lunch lady. Lunch lady Lala? Yeah. I see you, girl. Is this for lunch or for dinner? Dinner! Sorry, excuse her. It's lunch. <laughs> I have a chef jacket. And you're not wearing it. Dresses. Where is it? Well, for now on, you're supposed to wear it. Okay, here. Oh, no, it's too late now. You know how many surfaces you're gonna be touching? That means you're gonna have to go over there, get the jacket, wash your hands again, and then touch something, wash your hands again, and then touch another thing, wash your hands again, and burn your hand. No, I didn't. I just touched it by accident. Always learn from your mistake. That's right. And finish what you started. Hey, you girl, you spitting bars. And if you don't agree with me, then I'm sorry. Okay, now you're being a little smart. <laughs> all right, before I get started, guys, with this, I just want to give a huge shout out to all my clients that let me record them, been coming to me regardless if I've recorded them or not. But I will say this, uh, I, the way that I go about recording my clients for anybody that wants to try this, I'm not going to say I just give them a direct question. I just bring out the camera because they already know I'm a YouTuber, right? And I set it up and I, and I kind of like feed off their energy. If I notice they're tense, you know, then that's when you talk it out. But I've never really been asked not to record, but I've seen situations before where the barber would go out of his way to ask and the energy's off and the client, the, their client says no. So first you got to just be known before using the camera. See, my clients know I use the camera because my my area my my station screams this guy uses a camera you just gotta let it be known that's what you do and off of that they, they just get more comfortable around it without you even recording them they just know that you're about it so take that into consideration anyways guys all my clients shout outs to all my clients mm, y'all holding me down thank you so much let's get into this one so right here we have my boy Ace Lee and I've been cutting him for a while as well. I've tried at least 
two to three different hairstyles on him and the one that we're trying today i don't think i've ever done on him before for the most part he's he's like the pretty lengthy on top he's, he's like the whole crop top look but crop tops the way i feel about low fades is the way i feel about crop tops well now nah, low fades still beats crop tops i'll 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 finesse a crop top if i have to and the client will like it so he tells me he wants to switch it up i ask him what do you want to do he says he wants to chop it off all of a sudden i'm happy i'm just like Woo! in my mind i'm saying i'm about to knock this out clipper work all over what but now the question is how short are we going now that i think about it this was probably the first time i've cut his hair with a clipper on top i normally always use shears so i wanted to go with a high guard to start it off but i was pretty sure i was gonna go lower but just to be safe just to be safe i grabbed i think that's the i think that's the number let me look this up okay hold up all right i found it right here the light blue is the number eight the green is the number seven that's like a purplish i don't know my colors well guys but uh yeah that's the eight seven six five and you guys can do the rest Now, after I was finished with the number seven, I wanted to lay the hair down a little bit. So I got it a little bit wet. I went ahead and hit it with the Dyson. And afterwards, I wanted to lay it down with a little bit of product that chose clay. For some reason, I always like clay. That's what I roll with. It doesn't have too much shine. It doesn't give an end crusty finish. So clay is my favorite so far. Now I slightly style his hair with the clay. I show him the outcome. And that's when I figured out that, um, that wasn't the end of that. He wanted to go a little bit lower. So instead of going to a six, I just went ahead and went to a five. Once I noticed we're playing the let's go lower game, there's times I just skip a guard, you know? Cause I mean, it's, it's not gonna be a huge difference. Now if they say, man, just, just a little bit more. When they do one of those, then I'll do, you know, guard by guard. But if they're like, man, let's just go lower. I'll skip a guard. I'm gonna skip a guard. So I went ahead and skipped a guard. I went ahead with a number five. And that's what we're going with. Hit it with a number five, Fonz. Okay, so now once we're done with the number five, we're gonna come back with the number four and hit the ridge. The ridge, guys. Eh, ridge. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. You catch my drift. Let's go with the number four, around the ridge. But was the number four enough? No. So we're gonna come back with the number three because I didn't like how I was looking with the number four. And slightly lower than the number three, I came back with the number two, but slightly lower. It may look like I went just as high as the number three, but no, no. At this point, I had a plan. And we're going with the number two, slightly lower than the number three. And then from there, that's when it gets interesting. Here we go. So just so you guys know, my boy does not like C-cups at all. He wants that taper high. And that's why we're gonna give it a nice little curve. It doesn't have to be defined. It doesn't have to be a perfect, you know, like half moon, but just make sure it's high enough where you don't see the C-cup. You wanna come back with a shaver, okay? And the, oh, and, and by the way, the back is high as well. Right after that, we come back with a shaver, clean that thing up and start to fade. Start to fade, you hear me? Now, being that his hair sprouts out, I like to cut the hairline slightly shorter. 
just so the the hair doesn't overhang over where i'm lining him up to me uh edge up does not pop if there's overhang hair so what i do what i like to do is cut that area slightly shorter don't overdo it now I can't remember if I mentioned it in previous videos. I'm pretty sure I have. When it comes to lining up before I've even faded, it's just so I can keep better track of where the fade is going, how far I'm taking it up. That's just for me to have as a reference. How about that? It's a reference. Lineup reference. I'm starting to realize that as I review more and more of my videos, I guess I have some steps that I follow, like a like a go-to set of steps, but I don't get too stuck to them. So like when I have that section, if it's not completely blended, I keep moving because I don't want to be too stuck on it. I don't know if you guys knew, but if you have a pair of wall clippers, you can also use the Babyliss guard system on your wall clippers and vice versa. That white one and a half wall guard is a little bit flimsy. Obviously, you can also get the premium. I just like a colored system. I feel like when my guards are colorful, it's easier to spot out which one is which. Now, I remember a long time ago, Nate telling me that he could tell Nate. Nate is one of the barbers that headlines. Shout out to Nate. I miss you, dog. He told me that he could distinguish which guard is which, regardless if they're colorful or not. I'm not that guy. But even though the half wall guard is flimsy compared to the half babbless guard, I find that the half wall guard cuts a little bit shorter. Let me know in the comments below what you think if you've had the opportunity to use both. Now the taper in the back, I found to be a little bit more challenging than the taper on the sides. Uh, he, he has coarse hair, guys. Now hold up now. For those that didn't know, coarse hair, and I got it right here, because you know the internet don't lie, right? It says coarse hair can be identified by a thick hair shaft. So the hair shaft, how thick the hair shaft is. That's why that line, that bulk line is so defined and you gotta really work the fade from the blade all the way close to the half. That section really makes a difference in any type of fade, but specifically with somebody that has coarse hair. Thank you. 
Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I do wash my hands in between clients. I always make sure that I follow the guidelines of sanitation. Right here, I didn't brush off the hair from his forehead and I didn't use the blur on my hands to make sure I didn't have all this, all his hair, because it's just his hair. All my hands, by the time I lined him up, I took an L on that. If, if this were to be judged, you take some points off on that. You gotta make sure. I've never done any barber battles and I don't, I don't think that'll ever be my thing but i do recall the judges taking points off if the barber leaves hair on the client's face for the final you know checkup to determine who wins so make sure you blow off or brush off your client's hair from his face because otherwise it just looks unprofessional and fonts you looked unprofessional you're doing your thing fonts you're doing your thing fonts but damn it quick update though um my next video it's, uh, I'm not meaning to do a tutorial on my next video, even though I do have a lot of tutorials left. I'm just gonna do something on myself, you know? I gotta do something. My hair's a little dirty. I'm looking kind of rough. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So the next video, I'm just gonna do something on myself. Maybe make it a vlog. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below what else you want me to do. If you're open for me to do other types of videos, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Let's get some thumbs on this thing. Uh, I think the last one did a thousand thumbs up. Let's let's get this bad boy to two thousand likes. Okay, let's get this bad boy to two thousand likes. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification button as well. You know, if you want to know when I drop, because I'm gonna be dropping, but dropping. Huge shout out to my boy Jay Hits for supplying us with the dope music. If you haven't checked him out, check him out on his YouTube, his Instagram, his his TikTok. Yo, do y'all have a TikTok? Should I be doing TikTok? I mean, I have an account, but I haven't done, I haven't done nothing. Y'all down for TikTok or what? But aside from that, guys, I'm done. I'm done. Me voy. Me fui. Peace. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye, Renzo. Bye.